Greetings children. Welcome to your online classes. This is Aishwarya speaking. Today we will be covering the first standard general science, living and non-living thing. Everything that you see around you is can be divided into living and non-living things. The things that you see around you in your house, that is your table, your chair, your computer, your mobile, everything comes under non-living thing. Now, when you go outside, you see a lot of plants, you see a lot of trees, you see a lot of animals, you see dogs, cats, rats, etc. All these things comes under living things. In this class, we are going to learn more about living and non-living things and what are different man-made things. Now, we are going to learn what are living things. I am going to show you a few examples of living things and then I am going to tell you about what are the characteristics of living things. Now, for the examples of living things, you can see fish, fish which lives in water. Yes. Next, you can see plants. Have you all seen plants outside when you go outside? Absolutely. Plants, man, us. Man means you, me, your parents, your friends. Everybody comes under living things. And dogs come. Dogs, everybody loves dogs, puppies. You love playing with the puppies, isn't it? Yes. Dogs also come under living things. Now, living things are the things which living things need air to breathe, water and food to live and they grow. Now what does this mean? They need air to breathe. Now every day, every minute and every second you all breathe in and breathe out, isn't it? Yes, we need air to breathe. We need air to breathe. We need water and food to live. You all drink water. You should all drink water every day. You should eat food every day. Now your eating food helps you to live and to grow. What do you mean by growing? Now, the living things, they produce the young ones. They produce the young ones means, have you seen a small plant grow into a big plant? Yes, if you have a small garden in your house if you or if you are observing the nature around you, you can see that the small plants, if few days back, the plant will be very, very small. After some days, you can see that the plant has grown up. It's, it is growing up. It, first, it will have very less leaves. Then it will start having many leaves in its plant. Then that is called growing. Now you can see the example of the lion and the cub. The cub is a very small baby of the lion. Now when this cub takes birth, they eat well and they grow to become a big lion. You can see the baby elephant and the mother elephant. Now these two, now these small baby elephants eat well and they grow up to become like their mothers. And you can even see that the small chick grows up to become the hen that means they pro we produce the egg ones and the egg ones eat well and they grow now when you were in ukg you were or lkg you were small you were a little uh, a little small now you are all have grown up in your height in your the way you look everything has changed a little bit like this it is going to keep changing that means when uh, the living things can produce the ones now non-living things non-living things are the things that cannot breathe they do not grow they do not need water they are just there in your houses or around you in the surroundings non-living things has become one of the examples that we live with now non we cannot live without non-living things now uh, Around us itself, there are many, many, many non-living things. For example, doll. You, ha I'm sure you all have many dolls, toys to play with. Especially now, you will be playing a lot in your house, and your you will be playing with different kinds of dolls. All these dolls comes under non-living things. Books. Now, books are the things that you use for reading, isn't it? Now, the books that you use are also non-living things. Table. Table and the chair that you're sitting on is also an example for non-living thing. The car. The car is also a non-living 
thing now these things the examples that you can see on your screen are the ones that are called non living things non living things they do not need air water or food that means they don't have to breathe they don't need water they don't need food they don't they do not grow they do not grow means they don't they they don't intake anything like air water or food so they do not have to grow when you bring a table home it is of the same size the, the day it is bought and it the day it it is there in even today growing means when they increase in the size or the increase in the length now they do not produce their young ones did you see your table produce a young table a small table next to it no right yes non living things do not produce any young ones so these are the main characters of non living things they do not need air water or food they do not grow they do not produce their young ones now there is a difference between natural uh, uh, there is a difference between non living things and natural things natural things are the things that are available are produced by nature especially you all must uh, you all like fruits vegetables and uh, a lot of things like uh, flowers have you all seen flowers absolutely they are all the natural things that are in our environment environment means anything that is surrounding us is called environment the examples that you can see the tomatoes the mangoes the seashell the flower the sunflower are all produced by nature these things are called natural things now natural things are like the gifts of nature gifts of nature means mother nature gives us these gifts now when the tomato or these mangoes when they are with the plant there and they are in the plant they are living things once you separate them once you cut them off from the plant they become non living things so they are these non living things are the gifts from the nature so they are called natural things the things that you see around you then you go outside when you go on a trip or something you can see that there are a lot of mountains stones all these mountains stones all these things are natural things that are present when you go to a beach you can see the seashells seashells means that you can see in on your screen these shells they they do have living things inside but after that living thing is dead it becomes a non living thing we can use this as an um, we can use this in our house also to keep it as a show piece next is man made things man made things means the things that are made by man who is the man we are the man okay so the things that are made by man man made things can be a football a bat a mobile a laptop these are just an examples for the man made things man made things can be anything now if you are wearing a earphone it is also a man made thing if you watching this video on uh, the mobile the mobile you are holding is a man made thing if you are watching this on a laptop the laptop is a man made thing if you see around you can see lot of man made things the bag your mother's bag or your own school bag is a man made thing the book the book that you read that you write you write your notes in your book all those things are nothing but man made things now you all understood what is the what are the different living things non living things natural things and man made things so this this was about the lesson i wish you all to stay home and stay safe thank you children and keep learning